Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know how many people I'm supposed to expect. And if it's gonna be a stalker or an ecologist. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ecologist, stalker. One stalker. Is he sneaking on me right now? Don't loot my bodies! Little shit. Okay, so it's in the bush apparently. Oh no, it's in there. Okay, tools, 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 tools. Mod! Oh! Oh yes, gunsmithing tools. Okay. That's... That's actually what I needed because I have the advanced tools already, so... No, I can craft ammo. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, you little shit. You little sneaky shit. Давай, давай. These guys, where do they come from? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, more radiation. No, 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 quick, 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 quick. Jesus Christ, the radiation. Yep. That's not good. I don't know if they're shooting at me or if it's just like stray bullets from the fight. I'm gonna pull back and heal. Okay, my, rela my relation is not super high, but I actually can hire this guy. So... That's good. First companions. Experience, experience. Not that bad. Not that bad. So I'm not gonna travel alone, which is nice. And of course, what do you do with companions? You use them as walking backpacks. That's what they're good for. Oh yeah, Cory, all this for me. Can carry everything. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Because the thing is, I'm really happy to have uh, military companions because I could hire duty companions now, I have enough rep. But the issue is that duty is allied with um, some factions I'm enemies with. So, for example, if we meet loners, duty companions, I'm, I'm not gonna do shit, they're just gonna watch me fighting. So, actually, having military companions is actually a big deal. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting that. I still don't have the gear to go in anomalies. Is it ready? Okay, I'm not gonna do the the miracle machine right now, but um, but it's good that it's ready. I'm gonna. Um, I have a lot of money right now, so I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this, and I'm gonna buy the artifact melter because I, I still need to get more artifacts. What I have right now is still not enough. But uh, I know I'm gonna buy it at some point to start crafting and emporing artifacts, so I'd rather do it right away. There's one thing I've been doing too, I'm gonna show you. It's a little bit cheesy, but see like for example this guy, he's a loner. He wants me to deliver a package to another loner. I'm gonna accept it. And... Uh, I'm simply gonna open the package. And Jerry, there's very good loot in it. 
and of course the mission is gonna fail. I'm gonna lose. Uh, I'm gonna lose um, rep, but it's a loner. I don't give a shit losing rep against loners. They're enemies, anyways. So that's actually a cheesy way, a little bit, to get some loot. You can do that in Rostock because I can get uh, I can get missions for enemies faction. So. Come on, green stash, don't betray me! Motherfucker! I want basic tools! Jesus! Come on, come on, come on! Seriously? Two gunsmithing tools in a white stash, and I still cannot have basic tools. Jeez, the, the game is trolling. Me. Oh yeah, by the way, there's something I, I forgot to mention: is that I've been using the scar artifact to heal me, which is like extremely useful. But like, I, I thought about it because I'm gonna stop using it now. Like, that's probably like one of the last time I use it. In case you don't know, it's very powerful, but there's a tiny, tiny chance that one of the effects, like when it's making you go crazy and dance and shit like this, one of the effects can be it's gonna make you kill yourself. Like if you know like the, the gunslinger, uh, controller, animation animation thing that makes you kill yourself, that, that's pretty much what it does. But like right now, I'm too far in my game to uh, gamble with this pretty much, so I'm pretty much done using it. Uh, the other thing is that you can you can save scum. Like basically, when you if you put it on and you can and you start hearing the controller voice, that means that you're gonna die, uh, and you just like quickly load your latest save. I don't think there's anything you can do, even removing the artifact when you hear the voice. I think it's gonna kill yourself, uh, anyways. The chances are very very low, like this playthrough it, it didn't happen to me a single time, but uh, but it can happen, it can definitely happen from time to time. I, I, I mean I learned this like luckily not on an Iron Man playthrough, and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so just so you know. I'm at the military trader right now and I, w I just wanted to show you what I buy generally when I go to like when I arrive in a new base, because I have plenty of money right now. So of course I'm buying ammo, because like I'm I really need ammo right now and I don't have enough to craft that much. I'm buying those because that's uh, by disassembling them that's what's gonna help me uh, get the wood uh, to build my uh, hideout stuff. Uh, dead electronics because I want to upgrade my PDA and uh, my bear detectors and I and I haven't hardly found that many so far so they're very cheap. So I'm just buying those. Uh, to, same thing to disassemble them to be able to craft better electronics and uh, these Kevlar plates because the the traders only have one every rotation of their inventory which is every 48 hours and I'm gonna need a couple uh, to upgrade when I have like multiple slots because like for a while that's gonna be like one of the best thing to make me resistant so yeah so th that's like um, one of my regular checkout bags at the traders these days Yeah, let me get the stash before I go back to base. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I know, dude. We're in bad condition, but like, I don't want to heal right now. We're gonna use the dock. Somewhere here. Oh, yeah, here. Oh! Oh, yes! Basic tools. Finally! Finally, we have basic tools. Beautiful. Well, things are progressing very well. That's the that's the last thing we that's the last big thing we were missing before being able to craft and stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, chill, chill. Just checking. Okay, so I want to check something because I have my prices with me. He buys the sun. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, for artifacts, he's much better than Butcher. 
Butcher buys it 900, he buys it like twice the price. Okay, then I have the boar leg, 175. Okay, so Butcher gives a better price for mutton parts. Let me check the Joe. Yeah, so I wanted, I wanted to try two different kinds, like a, a common specimen and a rare specimen, to be, to be sure. So Butcher actually gives better prices for mutant parts. Uh, Butcher gives 214 for the pelt and he gives 180. Okay, so the pelts, that's the same thing. So Butcher gives the best prices too. So everything that's meat mutant, and mutant parts, uh, Butcher gives better prices. And only sell the artifacts to uh, ecologists, pretty much. That's the conclusion of this. I want, I wanted to compare, just to be sure. Uh, Oh, and that's our second pair, second set, I should say. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, jellyfish. Nice. Come on, another delivery! Another delivery of loot! Come on, come closer, come closer! Can I talk to him? Here, can I reach the stash? Yes, okay. Give me everything! Give me everything! So we have, yeah, 158 kilos of stuff again. Take all. Whoa. Move all. Yeah, I'm starting to have way too much stuff. Like the game, the game is lagging. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, the priority is to uh, give the tools to the technician because uh, that's gonna unlock uh, better stuff in his inventory. In the, like in 48 hours, I'm gonna have to wait. It's not gonna be exactly right now. Oh, привет. I'm gonna need the better uh, repair kits that he gives to be able to repair my armor and weapons. I might be able to craft them, but I didn't start uh, disassembling stuff, so I don't know. So just in case I don't have enough to craft my own repair kits, I'm gonna have uh, everything I need in two days. Bye. As soon as I find more, at least one more advanced tool, I can give those to the military technician. Just for the rep, pretty much. For the rep and the money. Honestly, I think I have enough to, uh, to start my base. I'm gonna disassemble all that. Uh, okay, hide the furniture, this. Okay, so I want a workshop, of course. I want... Hey, two big boxes. And I'm not gonna be able to do more now. Which is fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly start uh, moving stuff anyways. I want my base where I'm uh, protected from emissions and close to the technician because that's where where I'm gonna be doing like most repairs and stuff like this. So Let's put my workbench here. Here we go. One here. Okay, that's that's a start. That's a start. Okay, now that all my crafting stuff uh, and all the stuff I want to disassemble is here, uh, I'm gonna start with the parts, the weapon parts first. What I'm gonna do is pretty easy, I'm just gonna keep everything that's over 60% and all the rest I'm directly gonna sell it. 
everything that's over 60 goes back into the stash and all the rest I'm like directly gonna sell everything. Okay, so all of this... Oh. I'm selling straight away. All of this is in too bad condition to do anything with it. And that's 8k. It's not bad. It's okay. I'm not even sure it pays for uh, for my multi-tool and the repairs, but uh, it's still something. Next, I'm gonna disassemble all the electronics that I don't need. The only important thing when you disassemble electronics to get parts is that you should at least keep one of each. Because some recipes, uh, I don't know, like for example, like let's say like you want to craft an RF receiver because you don't have one, you need a broken down walkie-talkie. If you want to craft your very first uh, detector, you need a broken detector. So I, when you disassemble stuff, you should keep at least one of each, just in case. Same thing, I'm gonna craft NVGs, that's like one of my uh, main thing I want to do is crafting NVGs. Oh fuck! I was, I was talking, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I completely destroyed my multi-tool. Okay, let's buy a new one, it's fine. Because yeah, my goal is to craft NVGs and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a, a headlamp to craft them. Actually, we can check this right now. Here, devices, yeah, headlamp with night vision. Yeah, you need like a basic headlamp to do like the first tier and then the second tier. Huh, do I have enough to do them already? The question is like, do I want NVGs now or do I want a better PDA? I like the improved PDA because uh, it lets you see the bodies on the minimap, so you don't miss any bodies. Maybe a better detector, because I'm using like a artifact so much right now. I mean, I've been like hunting so much for artifacts, and I need to improve my detectors to be able to uh, detect the better artifacts. Up, 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 what I'm doing. Um, so, better detector. Let me see if I can upgrade my... Like, night vision is not like a... I'm not doing any labs or anything anytime soon, so... Uh, oh fuck, pack of capacitors. I'm missing just one. I'm sorry my friend, that's for the good cause. Devices, here. Okay, perfect. So now with this, I'm able to see the bodies on the minimap, which is very useful. I, generally, I don't upgrade the latest version because I don't find it super useful. Okay, good. I don't think we can craft any... Uh, I don't think we can craft more devices right now. Um, my next goal is gonna be to have a better backpack. I'm still... N it's not like a, an emergency because... Uh, I want to use the, the ability of my hunter's kit to uh, to get uh, more mutant parts right now. But like after a while, it's it's gonna be less interesting because I'm gonna be rich and have like much more stuff. Suka. He's on the roof. Did you guys kill him? Yeah? No. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that was, that was a close one. Jesus Christ, that was a close one. I, th I was sure he was on the roof for some reason, I don't know. Okay, I'm ready to get crafting, but I'm a little bit short on money for the for the repair kits I need to buy. But I have a giant surplus. I'm gonna keep my artifacts for now. 
but I have a giant surplus of uh, mutton pots. Look at this. So I'm gonna go quickly visit Butcher and uh, and sell him everything just to make some money. Okay, so I'm keeping some meat, I'm keeping some uh, parts for missions to give to stalkers, but all the rest I can sell directly to him. Hoping I'm gonna make... Oh yeah, and I've done the two missions. So kill hunting, dog meat, and here's everything. Which is... Which is not bad, 30k. That's, that, that's gonna leave me enough to... Um, the thing is that I spend too much on ammo because like the, the two last rotation uh, and the military trader I bought like a Hydroshock runs. I don't know, I, I had like so much money, but uh, I spend with, I have way too much ammo right now. It's fine. Okay, so let's get all this. This can stay here. And uh, let's go back. First, second, and I guess the last one, yeah. Okay. So we got NVGs! As easy as that. Uh... Oh yeah, there's, a, there's an emission right now, so I cannot try them out. Anyways, I do not like if it's not straight. Here. And here, okay. Let's uh, finish moving everything now. Fuck! I forgot. I told my two companions to wait outside, and I completely forgot about them. And there was an emission, so they got killed. Fuck! And they've been looted. Jesus Christ! Sorry, guys. I completely forgot about you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back to Agroprom to pick up some new companions. Okay, I'm done. I mean, I'm at least I'm done for now. So everything's ready. So when I arrive, I can dump all my shit in here when I don't want to order everything. Then of course we have the workshop with um, all the crafting stuff. We have all the weapons that I save that I might repair depending on what I want. Uh, same thing for the armors here. All the artifacts with the, with the artifact melter. I need to start looking into it like a little bit later. Um, all the meat, the mutant parts, and everything that's cooking related for the for the meat. All the ammo. Uh, here is the updates and the attachments for the weapon. And here is all the food and medicine for now. So yeah, so everything is pretty much like organized. I need to decide uh, what weapon I want to repair. I mean, I know I, I want to. I'm gonna repair the UMP45 because that's. Uh, that's basically gonna replace my handgun. Uh, that's gonna be like my my uh, mutant uh, gun, pretty much. And then, honestly, it's either gonna be the Mosin or the SKS. I'm gonna try to see. I'm gonna see if I can repair the Mosin. Uh, if not, it's gonna be the SKS. All the like automatic uh, weapon that yeah, we'll see later. It's fine. Like if I have the UMP45 to kill mutants with the hydroshock ammo and uh, a sniper to to shoot at stalkers, I'm set. I, I don't need anything else. And the MP45, like, I can still, like, switch ammo to fight a little bit stalkers with it, so it's fine, yeah. But, um, yeah, and same thing, so uh, I'm gonna repair these weapons, I'm gonna see if I, if I have enough money and enough uh, parts, and I still need to compare these, arm these armors, I didn't do it, so I'm gonna do that now. 7, 38, 24, okay, so there's much better ballistic resistance. Okay, so bait's pretty easy. The Westlander is better against Stalker. The Voyager is better against Mutants because it has like crazy rupture resistance. Radiation, 25. Ah, in fact, the Westlander is not that good in radiation protection. 5 slot, 18 kilos. 4 slot, 12 kilos. Huh, actually the Voyager is not bad either. Yeah, it's really not bad. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with the Voyager, even if it's ugly as fuck. I, I kind of want to do the Westlander, but... Uh, yeah, let's go with the... Okay, stop. Le le let's stop uh, thinking too much. Let's go with the Voyager. 
then helmets, uh, helmets, helmets, helmets. Uh, okay, so that one definitely. Yeah, it's gonna be that one. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I'm gonna keep those just in case, but I'm, I'm gonna go with that one definitely. So this, this, uh, I said this and this. Ideally. Ideally. Oh. So I have no repair kits. For the Mosin, it's gonna be the the old school repair kit, something. Yeah, the historic weapon repair kit. And for this one, it's only gonna be the handgun one, I think. Yeah, handgun one. Okay, so if I buy this two, how much is it? 39k? Okay, okay. It's not bad. I have plenty. And for this guy, it's gonna be, okay, the heavy and uh, and the medium medium okay it doesn't sell the heavy but i might be able to craft it tour glue tube and medium armor repair kit oh jesus that's gonna be that's gonna be expensive okay i'm gonna have to go with another helmet we're gonna save that one for later but like right now this one is uh is too expensive well, 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 uh, yeah, we're gonna go with that one then, which is medium that I already have, okay. Let me see, let me see, uh, for, for my dear armor, do I have something? Yeah, actually, okay, it should be fine if I do this, this, yeah, armor is very easy, because even if I don't have perfect parts, I'm gonna repair it like this by changing the parts, it doesn't use any, uh, it doesn't even use any uses on the on the toolkit. Let me get all this. Oh, and by the way, that's why I keep my cloth mask because the cloth mask are one of the best uh, repairing tools. You will see. So I'm at 78. 78. Because if if you look for like almost every repair kit, if you look at everything that gives bonuses, the cloth mask is actually plus seven. It gives you as much as another toolkit, more than other toolkits actually, uh, other repair kits. It's it's one of the highest one, and doesn't matter the condition. Like just a just a close mask work. It's very important to keep them to repair your stuff. So with this, we're gonna be at 93. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We, oh yeah, 72. Perfect, beautiful. I'm not even gonna have to use the big uh, the big repair kit. Brand new armor, brand new helmet, just like that, perfect. No, <laughs> not the weapons. Okay, I'm gonna try to repair the Mosin actually. Uh, that's more important now. So, the thing is, I have a barrel for it. So, if we're smart, we're gonna get something, get something to repair the barrel. Which is gonna be a ramrod. Okay. Bye. So we repair the barrel to a hundred. Then we switch the barrel back. Yeah, this buggy mission is very annoying. We switch the barrel. Here we go. And now I can maintain. I don't really care about this kit because I'm not gonna use it for other weapon so I can maintain all the other parts with the kit and I'm still gonna have one charge left in the kit because I changed the barrel just in case and now it's at 57 so I can use this here we go uh, let me see what's compatible with it oh actually the jerry can gives a very big boost perfect so if I do this, 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 87, and now that I'm at 87, I can use whatever, 50, 40, yeah, whatever. This, this, yeah, it's enough, 100. Him! And just like that, with very little money spent, we have a brand new Mosin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's 5, 5. Jesus, this mission is driving me crazy, and it's Invictus, I cannot, like, open the console to cancel it or something. Um, I try to sleep, that's why the, the 
the time change. I try to sleep to see if it, it, it would like cancel this mission, but uh, so five. Where is the handgun kit? Yeah, I only have four. Ch uh, I have five. Ch uh, I have five charges, so I can kill it for the. I could do that honestly. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Whatever. It's not really like this repair kit are, are not super expensive. I mean, the money you get in Gamma is literally to do that, pretty much. So... Well, just like that we have weapons then. Uh, and I have a scope. And a silencer. So just like that, we are a new man. New armor, new helmet, and two good weapons. So I just need to check now if I don't have to craft some ammo for this. No, look at this. 16 rounds, that's perfect. I don't need like, I'm gonna save this for like the, the armor penetration one for later. Damn, night vision, new armor, new weapons. Like what, what else do you want, honestly? We we can start doing some serious stuff now. Mm -hmm.